Well, hey folks, and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. Uh, I've got a neat little product here uh, made by Microsolar, and I bought some of their products in the past. I got my LED 5 watt lights from them, and uh, so I decided to get this product because uh, it's winter time here, and it, we've been having some really cold nights. Our nights have been getting down to dang near almost minus 20, and when it gets that cold, uh, the batteries in my vehicles. It, that'll zap about 50% of the charge out of them, and if they sit for a couple of days, that completely wipes out my batteries. And that's what happened. I come out to start my vehicle after a couple of days, not realizing how cold it was getting at night, and neither my truck or my car would start. Uh, I finally got the truck to start with a jump. Uh, the car still won't start. Uh, it's got some problems with the battery, I think, but uh, I went ahead and got this product. I've been looking at it for a while here, and I've used my spare solar panels to do this. But I decided this is a product that I think a lot of people could probably use uh, for keeping your batteries on like your RVs or your extra vehicles that you don't drive in winter uh, charged up because uh, batteries are dang expensive. Uh, a good battery will set you back $150 to almost $200 for a good battery. And if you let them go dead during the winter time, it really damages the batteries and they won't last near as long. And I've lost batteries just over a year, over a winter when I didn't take good care of them and I didn't keep them charged up. So I got this product uh, because I'm off grid. I don't have, I don't have a, a plug in where I can just go plug in a trickle charger with a, an extension cord. Uh, so using solar just makes a lot more sense. Plus it doesn't use any power from the power grid. And this unit could be taken along if you like to camp uh, and you need to recharge your batteries, but you don't want to put batteries on your camper, or maybe you've got uh, like a pop-up trailer, or maybe a teardrop camper, then I think this little unit would be really good here. So this is made by Microsolar, and uh, it is a 30-watt panel. Uh, comes with aluminum frame, has the uh, shatter-resistant glass, safety glass on the front of it, and they do a really good job in manufacturing their products. This is from China, but I can tell you they don't chimp on it, these, these products by Microsolar. Uh, that's the company that I've been getting my products from. They put the extra uh, work into making these very good products. Now it comes with a fold down uh, support rack. You can see that support rack. That folds up against the frame when it's not in use so you can store it out of the way. Or it folds down so that you can put it at any angle you want. You can put this down to 45 degree angles, which is about where I have mine set at a 45 degree angle. That's because the sun, there's the sun up there. The sun in the winter time travels along at a lower path. In the summer, it'll be much higher. So it's nice to be able to adjust the panels. I want to be able to adjust the panels. And uh, this is 30 watts, which is a fairly good size. That'll recharge a, an average car battery in probably about five, six hours of sunlight. It'll, it'll uh, recharge a car battery. Uh, and it comes with about 16 feet of cable. Like I said, the Microsolar does good cable. It comes with about 16 feet of cable, and then it's got a really nice connector here uh, with a male-female end and then a screw-on cover. So you tighten that, that down, and that completely locks that cover, and it comes with its own power controller, okay? And you can see the lights on on the power controller there, and it shows that well, I just put this on, but it actually shows my battery is already starting to charge back up. My battery's good. When I first put it on, that was blinking red. That light right there was blinking red, uh, the green light, at showing that my battery was low, and it's already showing green, so it's showing my battery's charged back up, and it's only been out here for about an hour. And then it's got a light showing that the solar panel is uh, working, okay? It's got connectors for both uh, battery ca cable clamps, which you can see right there, and these are the good kind of clamps. They've got a good spring in them. They've got plastics on the outside. They're not cheapo clamps. They're good clamps, and it also comes with the uh, plug-in adapter so you can recharge actually right through your cigarette lighter. If you don't want, I already had the hood up on this, and I wanted to use these clamps, but if you don't want to raise your hood on it, you can actually just stick your this same cable on through your uh, lighter plug, and it will recharge your batteries that way. And it comes with a good set of instructions, and unlike a lot of Chinese instructions, these are written in good English. You can actually understand them. A uh, good set of instructions. They also send you a little uh, pamphlet brochure of their other products. And I really like Microsolar's products. I also have this 5-watt. Uh, you can see right there, I've got that 5-watt solar home system that comes with two LED lights. Uh, or you can get them with four lights and uh, a good recharger on them. And they have quite a, diff quite a few different other products. Now, if their other products are as good as these products that I've been getting, I would say that they're worth it. Uh, they're well-made. They seem to be real, real well-made uh, products 
for the price, and the price is a fair price, $79 for the unit, which comes with the 30 watt panel, comes with that uh, power controller, which is probably just a standard power controller, I'm sure it's not MPP3, and it comes with the uh, uh, clamps for your batteries or with the uh, plug-in for your lighter if you want to recharge it that way. And this will be handy because <coughs> I have two vehicles, as you can see, I got the truck here, and uh, I'm driving it during the winter, and the car's just going to sit. And if I don't uh, start it up, the battery's going to go dead again, and then I'm going to have all kinds of problems with the battery, uh, and probably have to replace the battery. So using this system here, I can just set this out during the daytime. It will keep the battery charged up. So if you've got like an RV or a camper or something like that that you don't use during the winter time, get yourself one of these, hook it up, and uh, it will just keep your batteries topped up. As long as the sun comes up during the day, it'll recharge it right back up pretty fast. Uh, to keep your batteries topped up, and that way you don't have to replace batteries so often. And uh, so that's that's a handy little unit. Now, I was using my 100-watt panel out here uh, with a, a power controller, but that's a bit much. I don't need anything that big. This is just a nice small unit that folds right up. You can put in your uh, teardrop campers or your pop-up or your small RVs and just take it with you. And then when you're camping, you can plug it in and hook it to your battery so that it recharges during the daytime when you're off plan. So that at night when you want to watch your TV or your run your CD player or something like that, your battery will be charged up by the time you get back home. Uh, and, you know, they're small enough that you can just stick it underneath the seat or something like that. So I think they're a pretty good unit for $79. Anyway, I wanted to share that product with you. Uh, let you know that I am surviving winter. It's been cold. Uh, we don't have a lot of snow. Uh, it's A lot of it's actually melted off. We got about uh, a foot here, but a lot of it's now melted down. We're down to probably about 10, 12 inches. I don't know. Something like that. Uh, but the nighttime's been real cold here. We've been down to pretty close to minus 20 uh, here, but uh, it's warmed up the last couple of days. Things are starting to melt off. My brother just come and, and uh, used his tractor to scrape out my driveway, which I appreciate. And uh, so we're, we're getting by, and me and the dog and the chickens are all doing great this winter. Thought I'd share this little product with you and just wish everybody a, a happy new year. And uh, stay, stay in contact with my videos. I'll have some more solar videos coming up soon. Thanks, everybody. Please do visit my channel. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Visit my website, simplesolarhomesteading.com. Bye.